going on guys? Beastly Gamer here, welcome to the channel, and today I'm bringing you guys some new, just released news about the PlayStation 4, codename Neo, PlayStation Neo, Nebuchadnezzar, Morpheus, Matrix, home console. Uh, this is something a lot of people are excited about, uh, it's got a lot of really, really big competition is going to be going against it. This Xbox Scorpio is going to be a behemoth, and uh, hopefully Sony has enough power in this thing to actually compete and go head to head with what Microsoft sounds like they're doing which is going to be totally insane. But it's rather interesting what Sony is planning to do with this thing. Uh, now this information is subject to change and I'll drop a link in the description. PS4 Neo specifications leaked. What seems to be a confidential presentation for the PlayStation 4 Neo has been made available on the internet. It includes information, its specifications, and developer guidelines amongst other things. According to the presentation, it uses the same Jaguar cores as the original sporting 8 cores at 2.1 GHz, making it 1.3 times faster than the PlayStation 4. It uses an enhanced version of the original PlayStation 4's graphics processing unit, as well as promising 36 compute inputs running at 911 MHz, translating into 2.3 times improvement in terms of teraflops. The PS4 Neo will use the same 8GB GDDR5 memory albeit with a higher bandwidth of 218 gigabits per second versus the original's 174 gigabits per second. Surprisingly, the hard drive configuration remains the same, so expect it in 500 gigabyte and 1 terabyte variants. Furthermore, submissions for games to run on the PlayStation 4 Neo will begin next month. The process of including Neo support depends on the release date of the title. Games releasing late September and prior will be, quote, PlayStation 4 only submission with Neo Day 1 patch, end quote, while all games from October onwards have to be for the PlayStation 4 and for the PlayStation Neo with Sony adding that it's quote okay to release Neo ready titles before Neo launches end quote. A lot of information on the presentation pertains to rendering techniques and resolution. Sony believes that games at 1440p on 4K displays doesn't allow for much distinction from the usual 1080p games. Rather it hopes that titles will use checkboard rendering and similar techniques to allow for resolution much closer to 2160p. Also, the presentation reveals one strategy for Neo game development is to, quote, ensure that the Neo frame rate meets or succeeds the frame rate of the game on the original PlayStation 4, end quote, perhaps to allow substantial variant between the PlayStation Neo and the PS4. Nonetheless, some of this information may not be final and subject to change. However, some segments do tie in with what we've heard from publishers in the past, that their upcoming releases from October onwards have to support PlayStation 4 Neo. As per a report in the Wall Street Journal, marquee securities analyst Damian Thong said Sony might introduce a smaller PlayStation 4 along with the Neo. Thong believes that they will be revealed at a game show in September. For its part, Sony declined to comment. A September announcement for the device would hold ground with what the likes of Eurogamer and French video game distributor Intellect claiming a release this year. While Sony has acknowledged its existence but yet to formally announce it or what it would be called when it finally hits retail, the company has made its point to fans to know that it will not replace the PlayStation 4 in any way. So this thing, while it sounds good, it does. It sounds like it's going to be a slightly better version of the PS4. I don't know if uh, 1.3 times faster gigahertz for the actual cores is going to be that much of a big difference. I don't know. You know, I, I don't create game consoles. I don't create PCs. But just from what I'm hearing here compared to what Microsoft said, this PlayStation 4 might not be able to uh, go head to head with that Scorpio. I don't know if this is Sony's plan for the Scorpio. If it is, it may work out. But when you hear, uh, you know, six teraflops compared to the 1.5 teraflops that we have now, that's a huge difference. And I'm hoping that Sony is able to, uh, you know, bridge that gap in power so that we can see, so, so that we can see Sony and Microsoft go head to head when these new consoles come out. Does this sound like it can compete with the Scorpio to you? But from what I heard, Microsoft's console might be more powerful. You guys let me know what you think in the comment section below. Be sure to give a thumbs up and show support for the channel. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter and tell all your friends about me. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.